In this video, we're going to go over some of the basic concepts and techniques to create a deck inlay by creating the simple deck inlay in the picture on your screen. When working with framing, it's often best to be in the framing plan view. So in my top toolbar, I'm going to switch my plan view from the working plan view to the framing floor plan view. The first step in creating the deck inlay is creating a hole in our deck for the inlay to reside. We can do this by drawing a CAD polyline where we want the hole to reside and converting it to a hole in the floor platform. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to my CAD tools, make sure I have the rectangular polyline tool selected, and just draw a rectangular polyline in the middle of my deck. Next, if I make sure that my temporary dimensions are turned on, I can select the CAD polyline where I get a temporary dimension showing the size of it, and I can resize the CAD polyline by selecting the temporary dimension and typing in my new desired sizes. For this example, I'm going to resize it to 6 feet by 6 feet, and this won't end up being our final size as we will adjust it to account for where our deck planks are positioned. But for the time being, with the CAD polyline selected, I'm just going to get it centered in the middle of the deck by selecting the center object tool, centering it in our first axis, and then centering it in our second axis. Next, I'm going to convert the CAD polyline into a hole in the floor platform by going down to the option in the bottom toolbar that says convert polyline and then selecting that I want it to be a hole in the floor platform, clicking on OK, and then accepting the polyline specification and in our 3D view you can see how that came in. You can see how the hole is cutting partially through some of the planks. Let's go back into the floor plan view, turn on the deck planks layer, and adjust the hole so it is not partially cutting any planks. So in my floor plan view, what I'm going to do is go up to our active layer display options towards the top right hand corner, and then in the active layer display options, I'm going to go down to the framing layers, and I'm going to turn on the deck planking layer, and you can see how that looks in our floor plan view, and then I'm going to close our active layer display options, and then in our floor plan view, I'm going to zoom in close to where that deck hole is, and I'm going to adjust its position so that it's not partially overlapping any of those planks. So there we have it on the bottom, and then let's adjust it at the top. And there we have that hole cleanly positioned in the middle of the deck. Next, if we look at a photo of the final deck inlay, this deck inlay is composed of four planks that are really polyline solids that have a lighter material to form the border and the middle is one large polyline solid with the deck planking material turned at an angle. Let's start by looking at how to create the border. We're going to create the border by starting off by drawing a polyline solid in this area of the plan. To create the polyline solid, I'm going to select the rectangular polyline tool and draw out approximately where I want it to be located. So I'm going to draw it in this position and then using my temporary dimensions again, I'm going to make sure I have the same width as my other planks, which I know are five and a half inches, and press enter. With that rectangular polyline in place, I'm again going to convert it to a polyline solid by going down to the bottom toolbar and selecting the convert polyline option. And then this time I'm going to select, I'm going to be converting it to a polyline solid and then one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that this polyline solid is on the same layer as our existing deck planks. To do this, I'm going to select the option that says Specify Layer, and then from the drop down, go down to our framing layers, and select Deck Planking, and then click on OK. And then here we can adjust information about the polyline solid. Two key pieces of information that we're going to adjust are going to be the thickness and the elevation so that both of these pieces of information match our existing planks. Let's start off by finding out the thickness of our planks in the plan. I'm going to go ahead and click OK to this, and then I'm going to press spacebar to deselect our CAD tools, select an existing plank in the plan, and then come down to the bottom left hand corner and open its object specification. And then here you can see our deck plank has a depth of 1 and 1 8 inches. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel out of this, select the polyline solid, and then open up its specification, and then adjust the thickness to be 1 and 1 8 inches thick, and then click on OK. 
Now that we have the thickness adjusted, we next need to adjust the elevation so that it matches the other planks. We can easily check the polyline solids elevation compared to the other deck planks in a back clipped cross section view. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to our camera tools, select the back clipped cross section, and then just draw a small back clipped cross section going through the polyline solid. Next, I'm going to zoom in close, and you can see that our polyline solid is above our existing deck planks. There are a few ways you can check the elevation height difference, and I'm going to do so using the CAD line tool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to our CAD line tool, and then I'm going to draw a CAD line going out from the bottom of the deck plank. And then I'm going to draw a second CAD line going from our existing CAD line up to the bottom of the polyline solid and then double click on this CAD line where I can see that its length is one inch, meaning our polyline saw needs to come down one inch. So I'm going to cancel out of this and then in my 3D view, I'm going to press spacebar, select the polyline solid, open the object specification, and then on our option for finish floor to top, I'm going to subtract one inch from the top height and press tab and then press OK. And in our back clipped view, you can see how that came down. And then I'm going to go ahead and close the back clipped view. Next, I want to make sure I'm maintaining a gap between the polyline solid and the existing deck planks. I can check to see what the existing gap between our deck planks is by opening up the deck room, going down to the deck panel, and here you can see the plank gap width is 3 16 of an inch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cancel out of this and then in our floor plan view press spacebar and then select the polyline solid and then select the move handle and as I'm moving it to the right I'm going to press tab on my keyboard and then I'm going to specify that I want to move it 3 16 of an inch in our X position and click on OK and then press spacebar and now we have that polyline solid 3 16 of an inch from our existing deck planks. The next thing I want to do, if we take a look at a photo of the final deck inlay, is I want the polyline solid to be a lighter wood material than our existing deck planks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select our current deck planking material, create a copy of it, specify that the copy is going to be a lighter color, and then apply it to our polyline solid. So in our 3D view, what I'm going to do is go up to our material eyedropper tool, I'm going to select our existing deck planking and in the bottom left hand corner there's different scoping modes for how you can apply this existing material that we've selected. I'm going to select the option that says create a copy of the selected material. I'm then going to come up to the material name and just go ahead and give it a new name. And then I'm going to go to the texture panel on the left and I'm going to select the option here that says blend with texture. What this will do is it'll blend the material color with the texture image. And I'm just simply going to come over to the color and then find a new color that I would like to use. With our new color selected, I'm going to press on OK and then press on OK again and then apply the copy to the polyline solid. Next, I'm going to create a copy of the polyline solid and reflect it about the deck hole to get it on the other side. I'm going to do this in the floor plan view by zooming out, selecting the polyline solid, selecting the copy button and reflecting it to the other side. The next step is to create two horizontal polyline solids running along the bottom and top of the hole. So what I'm going to do is in our floor plan view, I'm going to select the polyline solid, copy it, and then move out of the copy. And then using the triangle rotate handle, I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees. And then I'm going to make sure I get the copy of the polyline solid positioned against our existing polyline solids by using the point to point move tool and selecting our first point and then selecting the point I would like to move it to. And then I want to make sure I maintain that 3 16 of an inch gap between our planks or polyline solids. So with this edge selected, I'm going to start dragging it back and then press tab and then specify that I want to move it back 3 16 of an inch and click on OK. And then I'm going to take a similar approach to the other side. I'm going to make sure I have the edge of it positioned against the edge of the existing polyline solid. And then I'm going to move it back 3 16 of an inch. 
and this is actually going to be negative 3 sixteenths of an inch in our X position. Next, if you look in our 3D view, you'll notice that the wood grain orientation is running the incorrect direction on this polyline solid. So what we need to do is create a copy of the material and turn its orientation so it's 90 degrees on this top polyline solid and then we'll copy it and reflect it to the bottom of the hole. So in our 3D view, I'm going to go up to the Material Eyedropper tool. I'm going to select the material. I'm going to select the Copy option in the bottom left hand corner. And this time I'm going to give it the name of Pine Honey Light 90. And then on the Texture panel, I'm going to turn the angle to be 90 degrees. And then click on OK. And then I'm going to apply the copy to the polyline solid. And now if you zoom in close, you can see that the grain orientation of the wood is running the correct direction. Next, we need to create a copy of this polyline solid and reflect it about the hole so that it's running at the bottom of the hole right here. So in the 3D view, I can simply select the polyline solid, select the copy button, reflect it about, and I'm going to reflect it about the existing polyline solid on the left-hand side. And you can see how that came into the model. The next thing we're going to do to complete the deck inlay is create a copy of one of our existing polyline solids, position it in the middle of the hole, adjust its size, and apply a new material to it from the library browser. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select one of our existing polyline solids, and I'm going to create a copy of it in the bottom left hand corner, and I'm just going to move this copy out. Next, I want it positioned 3 16ths of an inch from our top polyline solid. So I'm going to select the edge handle and move it so it's touching the edge and then drag it back. And while I'm dragging, I'm going to press tab and then I'm going to specify that I want to move it negative 3 16ths of an inch in our Y axis and then click on OK. I'm then going to take a similar approach to this bottom edge by dragging it all the way to the bottom and then using the edge handle, move it up and press tab and then specify that I want to move this one 3 16ths of an inch in our Y position and click on OK. And there we've got the large polyline solid in the middle here and then the final step is to select a new material from our library browser. I'm going to jump to our 3D view and I'm going to actually make this our full screen view and then open up our library browser and then I'm going to go to the core catalogs and then materials and then decking and I'm just going to find a new plank material that I want to use and I'm going to apply it to the middle polyline solid and then in our top toolbar, I'm going to select the Adjust Material Definition tool and select the new planking material that we just applied. And then go to the Texture panel on the left and then turn the angle so that's 45 degrees. And click on OK. And you can see that updated in the 3D view. And that's going to conclude this video.